Arsenal Fan TV, what do you make of it today? Uh, slow first half. I think we were very flat going forward in the first half. And I also like to mention how I think for the goal, Czech is a bit of a liability when coming out of goal because, I mean, that's such a sloppy goal to be conceding. And I had Monreal, Kolasinac and Czech in my fantasy team expecting an easy clean sheet. And I just You don't put Arsenal players in your fantasy team if you want a clean sheet. I learned that today. I learned that today. It was a disgrace. I mean, it's a, a lot of people blaming Czech. I don't know. I, I couldn't... Yeah, all right, it went for his legs. I don't know, I've got to have to look on it again. I just thought Koscielny fell over. Not sure if Bellerin was too aware enough of what was going on around him. And then it was, a, it, was a, it was a decent finish by them, to be honest. Don't get me wrong, Czech's a great keeper, but I looked at the goal three or four times. And what I've seen is he hasn't made himself big and he's left his legs open. It's just an easy goal to be conceding. Yeah. And I don't understand why, it take, why we have to concede for us to wake up and then go and realize, oh, now we need to go and score. Mm. And I also think that... Going back on what I said a few weeks ago when I was first on here about Alexis, today he gave the ball away six or seven times again. And if he does that against City and Tottenham in the next two weeks, they're going to counter-attack and score. I mean, look at our defence today. Mm. A sh shocking against Swansea, City's attack, Spurs' attack, if Kane's back, we are mm. banging trouble. Can we go to Manchester City and get a win? A win? I mean, jeez. <laughs> We can barely be Swansea. How are we, how are we going to be City? I mean, in reality... They're not if, Barcelona, though, aren't they? No, they're not, they're not, you know, it's just, come on. They, 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 someone's got to beat them eventually. Maybe it's our time. Look, if we, if we go into the game with the right mentality and the right squad, then, yeah, we could probably pick up a result. But, you know, Ozil needs to turn up. He, he needs to show us something. It's, it's a big, big test for him this week. He needs to show us that he can perform against these big clubs. And um, Lacazette... I think even though he was a bit quiet today, he does a lot of things off the ball. Like he makes a lot of off-the-ball runs that are important and yeah. can create chances. So can we? Yeah, I think, I think we could get a result, but we're going to have to be on top form. We're going to have to play very well. And I'd also like to mention one more thing about this contract situation we've got with Ozo and Alexis, right? Last season, they've come out and said part of the, they, they've admitted that part of the problem was... All the players did not know and the fans had no idea what was going on with Wenger's contract. And we've let that happen with Sanchez and Ozil last season and it's continuing on this season. No one actually knows if they're going to sign or not. And I mean, if they go for free in the summer or if they go in January, what are we going to do? We're not going to get any money for them. They've got six months left on their contract. And I think the current situation is an absolute disgrace. We're Arsenal Football Club. No one is above Arsenal Football Club, OK? We're, we're a massive club. And the fact that Alexis and Ozil have been able to run their contracts on this long and let all the fans be wondering what's going on. I mean, I love Alexis and Ozil, but I think it's unacceptable. And I'd also like to say that Ozil has been, I think he was very good at Everton. And today he worked hard. He didn't really do much, but he worked hard. And I want everyone to, for now, even though we don't know what's going on, we have to get behind them. We have to keep, keep, keep pushing them to score more goals and assist more goals.